Back to another episode of The Fragrance Show, man. Thanks for tapping back in with your guy. We're doing a weekly rotation, man. Fragrances I brought out through this week. Going to share them with you guys. Maybe some of you have them, maybe not. But, you know, you guys let me know down in the comments. All right, what y'all think about them. So stay tuned. The Fragrance Show. with another video peace to everybody in the fragrance community shouts out to all you guys new subscribers peace to y'all returning subscribers peace to y'all as well man y'all making the channel grow we are heading in the right direction so excited big things to come in the future but nevertheless we're talking weekly rotation guys and to start this week out i went with one of my favorite aqua dgo clones a og that's right the one that was in the thumbnail now talking about the og juice straight aqua dgo and we're talking blue touch by frank olivier this one right here a nice take on the aqua dgo og dna but a tad bit of sweetness in there and the performance is so good the og dna on the regular aqua dgo just doesn't perform anymore and you know it's been out for a while so you know that's cool so you want a nice alternative blue touch franco olivier that was monday all right tuesday guys i gotta hit y'all with this one gonna be doing a review on this juice coming up um sometime next week and that's my hair legacy the silver bottle this one right here not really a big fan coming in well, leading up to this one, I wasn't really a big fan of the My Hair line. I'm not a fan of My Hair Black. I'm not a fan of My Hair, the one in the gold bottle. But this one right here, guys, you gotta add this for your spring and summer rotation for sure. Nice, minty freshness. They said it's a take on Parfum Darmali Sedley. I do have a uh, sample of that. So when I do the video, I'm gonna be testing it right beside the sample. All right, guys, let's move on to Wednesday. They came around guys and I'm going to be uh, making some comparison videos when it comes down to these fragrances. Uh, I just want to show y'all one right quick so y'all know I have the lovely cherry by Mason or Mason or Hamburg. This is a clone two times for um, Lost Cherry. Now I went ahead and picked up the clone to Lost Cherry. I went ahead and picked up the Fragrance World one and it's called Lush Cherry. Been checking this one out. Um, gonna do a comparison with the lovely cherry, the Mason Alhambra one uh, coming up soon, but this is by Fragrance World. This is lovely. This is Lush Cherry, okay? I take on the Tom Ford DNA. And man, this one is spectacular. Mm, gotta love it, smells so nice, guys. Lush Cherry by Fragrance World, a clone to the Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, all right? Thursday come around, same scenario, guys. Y'all know I have the Bitter Peach up on, not Bitter Peach, Bright Peach up on the channel, a Tom Ford clone to Bitter Peach. So that Bright Peach is from Mason Alhambra. I also have a clone from Fragrance World that's taken on the DNA and it's called Intense Peach. This one right here, guys, this one smells amazing. And I will say for the sake of this video, I actually prefer the Intense Peach over the Bright one. Not saying the Bright one is bad, but Intense Peach gives me more, I would say it is the much more closer clone to the Bitter Peach DNA than the Mason Alhambra Bright Peaches. And I say that because with the Intense Peach guys, you get the earthy peachy vibe that goes on with the bitter peach in the time for DNA. And that comes from patchouli. So it's not as bright as the opening on the uh, Mesa Alhambra clone. And to a lot of guys, to a lot of guys, that fragrance leans feminine. And I can see why. To me, I think it's unisex, but I think this one right here, especially for the fellas with that patchouli earthy peachy vibe going on, I think you guys will like this one much better. So this is intense peach all right crazy another same scenario i'm just testing out the fragrance world time for uh fragrance world has a clone to the time for tobacco vanille and their brand 
their title is Vanilla E Tobacco. This one right here. Now, I also have the Mason Alhambra one. That one is called Tobacco Touch. Real nice clone on the DNA as well. And I'm testing out the Fragrance World take on the DNA. And I will say, the Mason Alhambra one does a good job. This one does a good job. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna say the Mason Alhambra one really tackles the tobacco note. Like it really smells super authentic. Not saying this one smells fake or synthetic, but just comparing the two, the Mason Alhambra one smells super realistic. But I was testing this one out, got a video coming on this one. Vanilla E Tobacco. Okay, a take on Tom Ford's tobacco vanilla a clone from the house from the Frag fragrance world house all right guys so you guys let me know down in the comments do you guys have those fragrances what's your take on them do you like them um you know how do the clones work out for y'all but that was just my weekly rotation um this week guys to close out uh the week as i'm recording this video is april 7th it'll probably be uploaded like maybe tomorrow april 8th or sunday april 9th see how it goes all right but nevertheless thanks for watching another video it's your boy jerome smith if you need more content click on that video header up on the screen you want to like and subscribe to the channel you're going to do that as well and i'll catch you guys in the next video man peace salute